Hi everyone, it's MJ the Fellow Actuary and in this video I want to show you how you can get some airdrops in 2022. And the reason for this is because in 2021 I made over $200,000 in airdrops and I want to share with you how you too can get in of this. Now the majority of this occurred naturally. It was only the $6,000 that I made from the ENS token that I actively went after. And also the majority of this is coming from one crypto address, although I did make $3,000 in the pain token where I had had multiple addresses creating different little things. But essentially this occurred by mistake. It was natural. I wasn't out there looking for this stuff. Whereas now in 2022, I'm like, if I made $200,000 by not being conscious of it, how much more can we make by actively seeking these things in the new year so what i want to do is i want to share my journey and i'm going to be doing a lot of the updates on twitter so feel free to follow me at bayman 1991 bayman is my middle name full name's michael bayman jordan 1991 is the year i was born and essentially there are two main methods to get airdrops the one is by completing microtransactions on decentralized applications and the other one is by holding specific nfts so Let's jump into this video. What is an airdrop? Well, when a Web3 application becomes decentralized, it will create a governance token. Now, a large percentage of the token will be airdropped or distributed to either existing users, and this is why we want to complete microtransactions on dApps, or to potential users. And normally they identify them as people holding specific NFTs. Now, why do applications do this? Well, I mean, from a weird way, it's almost as if things have value only if other people perceive them to have value. And the way to get that is by giving it out to a whole bunch of people. Look, the actual reasoning, you can get into Hegelian philosophy or try and understand network effect. But essentially, the action of distribution creates wealth. Empirically, this is what has happened in 2021. I mean, there's been this new token, SOS, which does nothing it does nothing and it's got a market cap of 250 million dollars and i basically received a thousand dollars of it which i sold on christmas which wasn't that that long ago so maybe don't worry about how these things or why they have value just know that empirically they're due and you know this video is going to show you how to get in on it so in a nutshell, what an airdrop is, it's a distribution of a governance token to existing and potential users. You can think of these tokens as equity share because it's gonna give you some sort of governance power. One token equals one vote. Maybe that's why there's utility. That's why these things have, have value because people want power in order to control uh, online organizations. But you can also think of them as loyalty rewards. So they're gonna say to the people who are using their application, especially in the beginning days, thank you so much here is a reward for being so loyal but they can also use it as a marketing tactic to try and get potential users and they normally identify potential users as people who are holding specific nfts but airdrops are also a currency you can buy you can sell you can trade with it and it's essentially a form of money in its own right look they can also be used for liquidity mining but maybe that's a, a topic that i should save for another video, but it is another way to earn an additional, sometimes they refer to it as yield farming, but like I said, that's maybe a topic for another video. Let's maybe do a very, very quick case study. There were these art NFTs, essentially super rare. It's this online gallery. They create 1 billion tokens. They give 150 million to existing users who had purchased an NFT from their site. From this, I got 175,000 tokens as an existing user. Because remember, we made those videos uh, last year of me buying and selling a whole bunch of these little things. And the token starts trading between $1 to $3. That means the team, the investors, the treasury, or the people who hold the rest of it have got a new asset of $700 million. So it's like, why are they giving our free money? Well, it's because by giving our free money, they're creating a lot of wealth for themselves. Not only that, but because super rare has become so popular a lot of third parties are using it um, to base their distribution or, the, or their airdrops on it so i got a further two thousand dollars from something called the botto token simply for holding a super rare nft and this was a sense you know so super rare were doing it as a loyalty thing 
Botto was doing it as a marketing way to get potential users. I've got another video on my channel where we talk about Botto, it's this AI that generates art and it's selling for millions and millions of, of rands. Uh, it's quite a fun, fun thing. Now, you could have bought a super rare NFT for $50 at the start of the year. I know that because that's how much I was selling them for at the beginning of the year. Um, where now the floor price of super rare NFTs are between $750 to $1,000. Now, there have been some super rare NFTs that have sold for over $2 million each. So purchasing this NFT, not only did it go up in value, not only did you get an airdrop for purchasing it from super rare, but you also potentially got um, tokens from other companies. And if you continue to hold a super rare NFT, you might have exposure to even future airdrops. So I would encourage you to try and buy a super rare NFT off their website or even off open seas for try and get the cheapest one you can just to get a little bit of that exposure but let's maybe talk about risk because of course if you're going to buy a super rare token for 750 dollars there is quite a bit of risk and there are some other risks that i want you guys to be aware of first off are scam coins so if you just get given coins a, a legit airdrop normally you have to claim but a scam coin You'll just look one day in your address and you've got a whole bunch of tokens and there's normally a website in the token name. And these things pretend to be swap exchanges. So sometimes you'll get like 100 scam coins and they'll give a website address. And then you go to the website, they'll ask if they can access the coins in your wallet. And if you click sign yes, all of your tokens could get drained. So just be careful of scam coins. If you're not claiming an airdrop, if you're not aware of the airdrop, be very, very cautious of what it is. There's also transaction fees, okay? Ethereum transaction fees are expensive, especially when it comes to smart contracts, buying NFTs. Sometimes you can pay up to $100 just to trade the NFT when the market congestion gets quite high. Now, this can get quite dangerous because you might do many, many transactions with many, many different wallets and get no airdrops because airdrops at the end of the day, they're not guaranteed. So please be aware of the risks when you come and become an airdrop hunter. Fortunately, there are some solutions or risk management techniques with regards to the scam coins. If something feels fishy, ask me on Twitter. I'll be tweeting about airdrops that I've done successfully and I'll let you know if I come across any scams on my Twitter feed. And as far as transaction fees, this is why I'm gonna recommend that you use the Polygon blockchain. You use Matic instead of ETH. There still is a transaction cost, but it's now it's gonna be a few cents rather than a few hundred dollars. And now this will make it feasible to have multiple wallets. Because if you're gonna become an airdrop hunter, you don't just do it with one address. You do it with multiple addresses. So if there is a, a drop of $1,000 per address, you can make quite a considerable amount. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go through some of the steps, I'm gonna talk about them, and then I'm gonna actually show you them, or me doing them, and then we're gonna conclude the video. So the 10 steps to basically get started in airdrops is if you're a complete beginner, is go download the MetaMask extension for Chrome. You then wanna follow the security steps to set up your MetaMask account. Okay, you can then go to a website called OpenSea, um, where you can actually purchase some Ethereum on the polygon network and i know that's confusing it's like we're not using ethereum ethereum we're using ethereum on the polygon network i know that's confusing but when you watch me do it hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense and you can purchase off um, OpenSea using your credit card you then want to go and purchase an nft it can be any nft i just went and i made a really really cheap one i made the cheapest one that you could just for the airdrop hunters. So this NFT is for the airdrop hunters. I'll also maybe take the list of people who buy it and if I ever create future NFTs or my own coin, I'm gonna be airdropping it to this list of people. So this maybe gets it a little bit of a bonus over another super, super cheap NFT, but essentially you can buy anyone. Once you've then purchased that, you then wanna to go to a website called zapper.fi and enable the Polygon network in your MetaMask account. Of course, in the video, I'll show you the actual steps on how to do that. You can also then go to wallet.polygon.technology, gas swap in order to change a little bit of your Ethereum on the Polygon network to Matic. And the reason why you wanna do this is because you then wanna create a few more accounts and using that Matic, you can now send some Ethereum to each of these other accounts and each of these other accounts can then go and purchase more NFTs. Remember, you want it so that if an airdrop happens, you've got 10 addresses that you're getting exposed to. 
What you then want to do is go back to the Zapper website and complete some of the quests because I'm going to show you how Zapper itself is very much eligible for an airdrop. It's not guaranteed, but there's a high possibility that Zapper could be doing an airdrop within the next five days. So it's worth getting in. And yeah, we're going to jump to the video and then we're going to conclude. But all this stuff will be in the description as well as the links. So guys, best of luck. Okay, so step one will be to download the MetaMask extension. So we just type in MetaMask, we then go to chrome.google and we click on that. We're going to say add to Chrome and we're then going to add the extension. Hopefully I'm not going too quickly. Maybe let me just slow down a little bit, um, but it will download there. MetaMask will then pop up in the top corner and fantastic. We now have MetaMask, it's a cute little fox. You're gonna click get started. We're gonna click create a wallet. Then you just wanna read that, you click agree. You wanna create a new password. For this one, we're just gonna call it password um, one, two, three, uh, password one, two, three. I've read the terms, click okay. Then they're gonna have this little seed phrase where they'll explain to you how to do it. Um, you guys can, yeah, do this, I think, on your own. Look at the whole seed phase. So let's just click Remind Me Later. And now we have our wallet over here. So once we have our MetaMask account, you'll see that I don't have anything in it. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to OpenSea in order to purchase an NFT. So let's go to OpenSea, the largest NFT marketplace. And what we're going to do is I have created an NFT for this exercise. So let's just go to MJ, the fellow actuary. Uh, let's see if it pops up. MJ, the super fast actuary. That's, <laughs> that's a crypto kitten that I bought back in the day. I think I have to type it in like this. MJ, fellow actuary. There we go. And it'll come to, to my page over here. And the one I want to talk about is this airdrop one because you can just see it is the cheapest one. I make a whole bunch of NFTs and have a lot of fun with this whole space. But yeah, we will now click on MJ's airdrop club. We can see there's 20 owners and we've made it really, really cheap. I mean, it's, it's, under, it's under $2. Now, if you've got crypto, if you've got a way to buy crypto, fantastic, you click buy now. But if you'll look here with my wallet, we don't really have any funding. Fortunately, we can buy with a credit card. So let's click buy with the credit card. Oh, sorry, we first have to connect our, our little thing here. So we're connecting MetaMask to OpenSea. We're then gonna click next. We then click connect and we're connecting. Feel free to rewatch this video or this segment if you do need some, some help, uh, but you'll see we have a zero balance. So what we can do is we can either click here, buy with card, or I think even if we were to click here, add funds, we can do it with a credit card. So this may be here, go buy with a credit card. And what we're gonna do is select the currency that we want to purchase. Now this is where it gets very, very important. We want to purchase this Ethereum polygon here. I wanna see if you can purchase Matic though. They won't let you purchase Matic. Okay, we, we will swap because we do need Matic a little bit later. But let's go, we want to get the Ethereum on the Polygon chain. So not that one, Ethereum Polygon. So click that there. And of course, we do not need to buy, um, gosh, how much is that? 300, oh, this is, this is the pounds that they're wanting us to buy. We only need like a very, very small amount. Okay, the minimum transaction is 30 pounds. So just go with the minimum. Okay, and you're going to get 0 0.01. That's more than enough. So just click continue. Uh, then we're gonna click next. Uh, we're gonna click connect again. And then it's gonna come to this address, which is our address here. We click continue. Enter an email address to create your MoonPay account. Okay, we have to create a MoonPay account. Okay, so once we've managed to purchase some crypto, we're gonna to go to our wallet, we're gonna click refresh funds, and we might just have to sign another little transaction over here. And then hopefully we're gonna see some polygon money. 
which is not popping up. Oh no, wait, there it is, there it is. Okay, so our money has, has come through. Um, like I say, quite a lot of the times you need to sign transactions and that's not gonna cost you any transaction fees, it's just signing on your MetaMask account. So now that we've got some ETH on the Polygon network and we'll note because it's purple, we can come here and we can purchase this one now with the buy now button. So you always want to just see this is an unreviewed collection, of course, because I only created it yesterday, already got 25 sales. A lot of that has been, well, about six or seven of that is with my own accounts, just purchasing it to get exposure to airdrops in the future. But also I shared it on Twitter and on some WhatsApp groups and people have, have already purchased it as well. So we'll click confirm. Then you have to click unlock. This is something that you only need to really do in the first time. And then we're gonna sign the message and we should be able now to have purchased this NFT. So if we click sign, it'll be like your purchase is processing and what should have happened now is yeah, you're getting MJ's Airdrop Club NFT. And you can come here, you can see like the owners, um, yeah, you can see all the different people who, who have purchased it. Um, I mean, you can come and click on them and check out all the other stuff that they have, have got going on as, as well. Um, but we're getting distracted, we're getting distracted. So let's come back to our profile. And if we're gonna look on our profile, we now have got this NFT. Now, why this is important is because there was this website chat called the Open DAO. Um, SOS and this just gave tokens to people who had purchased on OpenSea. So if you had purchased on OpenSea, you would then be able to get this airdrop. This is something that I managed to get and here you can see 50% airdrop to OpenSea users. I got $1,000 simply for having a transaction on OpenSea. It's not the only one, there's been other tokens, also Paint as well, rewarded people for having a transaction on OpenSea. So that's the reason why you want to purchase it. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to find a Matic faucet. Okay, so now let's try and find a Matic faucet. Okay, I was editing this video and I realized that I was going on for way, way too long. So what we're gonna do is, or what you're seeing now is actually gonna be the second video. So in the second video, I'm gonna explain how you can turn your Ethereum on the Polygon into Matic and how you can start getting some other airdrops exposure. But I thought, let's just do one step at a time. So for the first video, what we've done is we've shown you how to start up MetaMask, how to buy some Polygon Ethereum and how to get your very first NFT. In the second video, I'm gonna show you how to exchange it into Matic and start getting exposure to all the other types of airdrops. So yeah, we're gonna make it as a part two video just so that this one is not ridiculously long, but please feel free to leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section of this video and I'll use that and incorporate it in the next video that I'll release either tomorrow or the day after. But as always, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Cheers.